What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor worldwide. Unfortunately, with this one, I'm a little bit behind. This one actually dropped a couple of weeks ago and it went right over my head. So that's obviously during that kind of New Year's period. I was out of action for a couple of days over New Year. So this one clearly just flew right by me and I didn't even see it. But a new single from Diamond Platinums. It goes by the name Shiitake. Um, and again, really excited to get into this one. No music video as of yet. It's just an official audio and lyric video. Again, I'm a big Diamond Platinums fan. I was uh, very, very honored last year to be able to go to his launch party for the first of all EP. And obviously, I did include him in the listing for albums I want to see this year. So very excited to get into this one. As always, friends, if you're new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. Of course, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. Without further ado, let's check out what Diamond Platinums is saying. Let's go. Already loving these drums. Floaty pad textures. When Gorgeous. Busting Johnny Chumo, baby, not to send me on my sauce. This is one of Loads of different cool elements um, on this one, all combining really nicely. You've got the kind of subtlety of that little guitar pluck over the top of the uh, of the drum lines. The actual drums themselves, beautiful. Quite a uh, slower in pace for us for a typical kind of ama, ama piano influence tune, but the way that he's maneuvering it is a very kind of classic Diamond Platinum's uh, approach. He's literally kind of tap dancing across the top, like he literally just kind of tap dancing along the top of an instrumental like this. Um, again, really nice kind of bass action, but those drums and percussion just have a real natural boom to them. This is sounding great. Really cool combination of elements going on with this one when you kind of infuse that uh, sort of saxophone line which pops up halfway through, just giving it an extra kind of flourish of colour. Uh, you've then got those very subtle, almost like trance-like chords which are bouncing away in the background of the instrumental. Really nice usage um, of different elements on this one. I am a big fan of the way this one's been put together. I can't lie to you. There's a real kind of natural warmth about it. Those choral elements coming into play as well. It's beautifully arranged. <laughs> This is cool, man. I think the thing with a lot of Diamond Platinum songs that always stands out for me, and I actually asked this about, um, I actually asked him about this when we had the pleasure of interviewing him last year. He always has a catchy element in every single tune, whether it be a catchy kind of instrumental line, like a really kind of cool little flute melody or something like that, or one of his vocals. And this vocal here is a great example of that. You're hearing this proper like, what is that? It's almost like the, um, is it Machala? Um, that, that tune there, there's a real kind of similar similarity in the melody. And that's a catchy melody. They're not the same, but there's just a similarity about them, which I really, really like on this one. Let's go, man. <laughs> Something really cool about this one as well When you're analysing the lower end Obviously on a tune like this There's a lot going on uh, percussively And there's also quite a lot going along bass line wise But what the, what's being done really well is There is a kind of suave subtlety About the way that low end is being manoeuvred It's always difficult to kind of chop and change Different kind of low ended percussive instruments With bass lines and make it sound clean But somehow in this they're able to put both of them in there And they don't clash Really really good piece of uh, kind of technical engineering Going on in the lower end to make that happen in regards to balancing frequencies and things like that. Really nice bit of engineering there. Really 
So clean, man. Again, that little splash of colour that we get from the saxophone line is a really cool addition to this one. I love the fact that we're able to kind of it gives it this kind of breath of fresh air it gives the whole tune this kind of additional kind of splash you're kind of getting the vocals that's nice the low end that's nice this li this little kind of subtle guitar lines are nice but then you get this kind of ba -ba, like this extra flash point really really cool again I'm loving the arrangement of this one it's very warm but also um, very kind of creative um, in the way that different elements have been kind of stitched together <laughs> This is so clean, man. Again, catchy elements. That's what is always... Um, Really, really important, I feel. And I think it's something that really that Diamond Platinums understands is very, very important about modern music composition. You need the catchy element. You need the ability to kind of um, draw everything in. And this is a great example of that happening, man. Really, really cool. I'm really happy to see Platinums back in action as well. <laughs> Loving this extended outro as well. There we go then. The sounds of Diamond Platinum's this one. Shitaki, super, super catchy new anthem from him. It dropped earlier on in the year. Um, okay, things I really like about this. I love the use of the saxophone. I said it before. This is what I would describe as a kind of romantic saxophone. That big kind of smoky sound. Um, but then on top of that, you've got subtlety. You've got the guitar lines running through the middle. You've got the kind of really intricate work of the bass end of this tune. The percussion bouncing off the bass line uh, without it sounding muddled. You've then got just the uh, approach from Diamond Platinum's bringing that choir into play. Really, really smooth smoothly arranged. I'm a big fan of this one. I'm a big fan of Diamond Platinum's anyway, and this is something a little bit different from him, not kind of focusing as much on uh, kind of catchy instrumentation, uh, more focusing on a catchy vocal line, which is cool to see. Uh, you're seeing the kind of development and the kind of um, the, the kind of change in direction. It's always cool to see from an artist, especially one as established as Diamond Platinum. So there we go. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video, my friends. If you are a Diamond Platinum's fan and you are new to the channel, make sure you're checking out all of our other reactions and, of course, the interview we had with him last year. Um, really cool guy, man. Really, really cool guy. Very much down to earth and uh, very good to talk to about his kind of musicology um, and his kind of understanding. Really, really cool to do. So make sure you check that out. If you are new to the channel as well, make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all that good stuff. And we shall see you all next time. Peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Camp TV. Stay locked.